Hey, do you work here? Yes, I do. Um, how may I be of help? I need to place an order. Oh, I I'm the cashier and I need to get back to my station, but I'll let one of the attendants know. What nonsense. What insolence. Who is the manager here? Who is the manager here? Uh, uh, sorry, sir. I am the manager. Manager? Yes. I have just been insulted by one of your staff and I demand you fire her immediately. Fire me? Shut what up, I didn't Laura. do any. Sir, I'm sorry for whatever must have happened between you two. Really sorry, sir. It's either you fire her or I will stop eating here and so will my friend. Uh, no, sir. That's not an option. Uh, sorry, sir. Excuse us. Sorry. Excuse me. There's no way I can lose him to keep you. This is business. But there's no excuse for him to treat people badly. I didn't do anything. I was I just coming. I know, Flora. I know you didn't do anything bad. And I know you are one of the best stars we have here. But it is just business, like I said. And besides, customers are always right. Flora. 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 I am sorry. Really, really sorry. But you may go and pick your paycheck with the accountant. Please. Let me get back to you. Um, Mr. Williams, like I said before, I am very, very sorry for whatever must have happened. Uh, if you don't mind, I will serve you myself. What would you want to eat, sir? You know what? I've lost my appetite. Uh, Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams? Laura? What happened? Nothing. Flora. I just want to rest. Flora. Flora. I am your mother. And I know you very well. Please talk to me. What happened? I lost my job, Mama. I lost my job. Which one? The E3. What happened? The customer is always right. That's what happened. What do you mean by the customer is always right? Mama, please. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I know that you don't want to talk about it. Eh? But we thank God at least the hospital one is still there. But Mama, what can that job do for us? Yes, I can still buy your drugs. But what about rent? What about food? What about your surgery, Mama? We should just thank God and we keep hope alive. Eh? And about the rent, the landlord was here today. Oh. Oh, you see what I'm talking about, Mama? Do you see? How are we going to cope? Flora, I know that you have been very strong and you have the hope. I want you to still keep the hope, eh? I know that I've been important to you, no, but Mama, I know Mama, that... Mama, no, no, Mama, no, 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 don't say that. Mama, don't say that. You are not a burden and you can never be. Don't worry, I'll find another job. We will find a way. See, some people pray in this world to have male and female, eh? to have sons and daughters, the male so that he can stand for them and protect them, the female so that he can care for them and listen to them. But I bless God that I have only one daughter. And I see this sad in you. Stop, 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 stop. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, Mama. I'll be okay. I'll be alright, okay? <laughs> doing this to yourself if you don't care about yourself at least you should care about we your parents why are you here mother your friend told me you sacked all your domestic staff so I came to bring you food I'm not hungry 
Yes, I know. But you're drinking. Let me tell you something. All this excessive drinking and smoking will further worsen your situation. Mother, there is nothing to worsen. There's no use flogging a dead horse. Okay, just don't worry yourself. I'm, I'm fine. Let me go and get your food. Um, sir, uh, you're aware that I'm permanently on the afternoon shift and I recently heard that there's a vacancy in the morning shift and I was wondering if I could run double shifts, sir. Double shifts? Yes, sir. Why? I remember asking you to work in the morning but you refused. So what happened now? So my mother is not well. I need to raise money to buy her drugs while saving for her surgery, sir. Hmm, Flora. Don't you think this load is too heavy for you to carry on your shoulder? I mean, you have uncles or other family members to talk to. Sir, I would talk to family members if I had any. My mother is all I have and I'll do anything to make sure that she gets better. Hmm. I, I can do the work. I, I'm very strong. I, I just need your approval, sir. Okay, then. If you say you can do this, I have no objection <laughs> but to... <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay. you very much, sir. I'm very grateful. I won't, I won't disappoint you, sir. I promise. I okay. will not disappoint you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. I'm very positive that God will do another one. <laughs> he will, he will. We thank God, Mama. It's time for you to take your drugs. <laughs> what is it? Why didn't you tell me that your drugs are finished? Your drugs? Is it finished? Mama, come off it. You knew that your drugs had finished and you didn't say anything to me. It's because you have a lot on your head and I don't want to put any putting on you. You knew that you didn't have any drugs left and you allowed me to spend all my money on rent. Is it not better to have a roof over our head? But I need to keep you alive until I can pay for your surgery. Flora, why don't you be realistic for once, eh? We don't even have a donor yet, eh? Well, if we don't have a roof over our head and the landlord comes and throws up, do you think I'm strong enough to do that? Eh? Will I be able to stand no, it? Mama, stop, Mama, stop, stop, stop. Don't. Stop <laughs> it, stop it. I'm sorry. Mama, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Uh, I'll find a way. My Is Mama, stop, Mama, stop, stop it, stop. I, I'll, we'll be fine, okay? Honestly, maybe I'm just, I'm tired of being strong. Challenges are just too much, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to Mr. Jeff for he approved my double shifts. If the strong you is losing faith, what happens to the likes of me? And the most urgent one is my mother's drugs. I need to buy it today, but I don't even know where the money will come from. Well, my good friend, don't worry about that, no? I have some savings. I could borrow the money. Eh? You give me the money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If it was you, you would have done. 
I'm same, even more for me. Thank you, thank you. I it's enough it. now. <laughs> oh, thank you, me, George. Okay. Ah. Hey, baby, God bless you. God bless you. Stop thanking me. Thank you. Ha. Stop thanking me. As you can see, Senator, the life of your son is hanging on the balance. He's neither responded to chemo or the drugs administered to him. His consistent smoking habits hasn't reduced either or even slowed that. In fact, it has hindered his chances of survival. Doctor, nothing should happen to my son, please. Ma is not dependent on our hands. William has a big role to play. The diet plans that has been put forth for him to follow and the medication he hasn't followed. Besides, he's just living life like someone who's given up hope entirely. Now, now that is unacceptable. Doctor, we, we, we can't let him lose up. So we have to help him keep up hope. Please. I wish we had flown him abroad. Uh, Ma, whether or not he's flown abroad is not even the matter. What I'm actually talking about is that William, at least for the rest of the time that he has, has to put the right attitude. Exactly. You know, some well, positivity. We all have a role to play in this. Why is he so stubborn? He's so set in his ways. What are you doing here? Not you again. You know, I should be saying that to you. Are you stalking me? You know you made me lose my job at the atrium. But believe me, stalking you is the last thing that I would want to do. I see you have bad manners and you don't learn. So what are you going to do? Make me lose my job here too? That would not be a bad idea. Go ahead. That would only serve to show how insecure you are around me. <laughs> me, William Douglas, insecure around a riffraff like you. Well, how else would you explain not wanting to have me around for even a second? You know, no one has ever spoken to me the way you just did, and I will not let it pass. Never. I forbid it. I don't care what you think or how you feel i'm here to do a job and i will do it diligently now if your insecurity is giving you problems then i can ask the manager to come and see you Arrogant fool is here. What arrogant fool? That idiot that got me sacked from the entry. You mean William Douglas? Whatever his name is. Don't tell me you guys had an issue again. Of course we did. I gave him a piece of my mind. Come on, Flora. I know he did wrong. Do you want to lose this job too? See, I know you don't take rubbish. Sometimes remember the implications though. Hmm. So I should just allow him walk all over me because he has money. No. But I advise you, at least ignore him. I am not ready to ignore him. If I go back into that room and he talks any nonsense, I will insult him. Better not put yourself in bigger trouble. Remember, you need this money. <laughs> um, speaking of money, were you able to withdraw the money? I need to dash and buy my mother's drugs and go and give them to her in the house. And mm. come. Let me get it for you. I was sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault, you. 
Shame. Oh. Williams. Is this all you think about? Smoking, drinking, and women? Williams. When is this going to stop? Just imagine if it were Jessica that walked in. Don't you have any self-respect left? Really, Mom? Self-respect? <laughs> do, do you guys realize that I'm dying? That all this chemo and drugs are not working? I need to get all the fun that I can before I depart from this wicked world. Williams, you know you're not helping matters at all. You don't have to give up. I know you won't want to leave. So act like one who really wants to leave. And besides, all this lifestyle of yours is not really helping your, your health at all. You know, you can tell me that because you don't know how it feels. You don't know how how fearful it is living knowing you can die any moment. Williams, you're my son. And I will not allow you to die. If money can heal you, I and your father will bring the whole doctors in this country to handle your case. But my darling, you need the right attitude to handle this, okay? All for what? Why, why do I want to leave, mother? Now listen to me, Williams. If you don't think you have to, at least consider your parents. Consider your loved ones. Hmm? I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Mother, I am. We know you are tired, my darling. And we will help you go through this. We'll be here for you. Okay, Mama. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Let me quickly go back to the hospital. Take care of yourself. Hmm? And you too. Hey, Flora, Biko, do not fight with Ama. It is not about you keeping your job. Hmm? It is about you being safe, eh? You know he's a rich man, and he has a lot of people working for him. Please. Mama, I've heard. But let him also stay away from me and not look for my own trouble. I'll see you later. Anyways, I need a recharge, so here, get me glow recharge and you have um, 10 minutes and your time starts now, here. You know, I think that you're having some difficulty identifying certain people and their job descriptions, so I'll help you out. I am a cleaner, buying airtime is not in my job description, and if I do buy airtime, it's because I choose to. And right now I choose not to. You know, I will be staying in this hospital longer than I expected, so don't push me. And if I do? I have the power to make your life miserable in this hospital and outside. You have so much power. But yet, you don't have the power to heal yourself of whatever sickness you have. Are you insulting my health status? No. Not at all. I just imagine that you are paying for whatever evil you have done. <laughs> this girl has beaten more than she can chew. You bump into me like that. Do you know who I am? Madam, but I said I was sorry. You didn't have to slap. What a foundry. Are you still talking? Madam, like I said, I'm sorry. One more word, and I will slap you again. Laura, 
So it's between you and the rich and mighty today, eh? What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Get out! Yes. Sit. Manager, I need a favor from you. Okay, go ahead. There is this girl that works here as a janitor. What's that her name? She calls herself Flora or something. Do you know her? Yes. I need you to assign her to my room as my... <coughs> Sorry. Thank you. As my personal janitor and AP. She will stay in my room and work only for me. She will stay here if I need her for anything and run errands for me. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Right? This is not a company. No, a civil service or a bank. I know exactly where this is, manager. Now, I don't have much time left for me in this world, so I deserve to get whatever I want. Besides, I will pay you for your troubles. There are rules and regulations in this hospital. And I believe rules are made by man for man and not man for the rules. Besides, I will pay double of whatever you're paying her, or triple as the case may be. Why didn't you discuss this with her? Because I want you to use your influence as the manager to make this happen. What if she refuses? Fire her. What? If you don't fire her manager, I and my family will withdraw our support from this hospital. And so would my friends. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, no, 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 no. It hasn't got to this. I believe there's an option. I'll inform her immediately. I believe would come to an arrangement, so you see yourself out, manager. You, you sent for me, sir? Yes. I won't waste the time. I'll go straight to the point. Do you know the patient in Ward 9? Mr. Douglas. Good. He called and asked that you work directly with him as his PA and janitor. What? Yes. He said he'll pay triple your salary, but will be on instruction and leave only when he permits you. <laughs> um, sir, you told him that is not possible. I'm afraid I didn't because he has threatened to withdraw all his support and that would be a great loss on our side. Very typical of him. What if I refuse? I'm afraid the hospital has no choice but to relieve you of your duties. What is this now? Eh? What kind of rubbish is this now? Ever since I met this man, it has been one problem after another for me. What's all this now? See, so, I know it looks bad, but look at it from a positive angle. It's an open space, it can't hurt you. And then you get to earn more money because you need it. And if you don't, you lose the only job you have. So tell me, what will happen to your mother? Maybe I know, I know, but reason this thing now. Maybe I'll reason this matter. What possible reason can he have for doing all these things that he's doing? You know he's just trying to mock me, Abby. You know. So your pride is more important to you than your mother, Abby? No. Exactly. See. <clears throat> just take this offer. He's sick, so he won't be here for long. Hmm? Right there. Remember, we're a hustler, so. Look at the destination, not the take of points. Eh? You'll be fine. You'll be fine.
I'm here as you requested. Now what? Well, from today onwards, you will be my personal janitor <coughs> and my PA. You will scrub the floors and you will attend to my needs and also run errands for me. Now, scrubbing floors is a job that I am happy to do. So if you believe that that will make me think any differently of you, then you don't know me. I can see that you still have uh, the audacity to speak, but not to worry. Before long, you will lose the strength to say a word. I admire that about you still. And um, you can walk for me wearing this horrible uniform. I need you to change it, dress properly, to be nice in you scrub the floor with. You are enjoying this, aren't you? Of course I'm enjoying it. Do you have a problem with that? What do I need to do? Cool now. Needed to have been there. You needed to have seen her face. She was so pained and furious. <laughs> You're happy, right? Of course, I am. <laughs> come on, Williams. What has come over you? Seems you've lost every iota of, of human feelings inside of you. That girl has done you no wrong, you know. She only opposed you. Is that enough reasons for you to want to make a life miserable? Well, my life is already miserable. So if that will add a little spice to it, I will enjoy it. Okay? Good morning, sir. Good morning. So this is the time you're resuming work? Uh, oh, no. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You I... shut up. What stupid excuse have you got? No, tell me. What, what excuse have you got? My mother isn't feeling well. Does it look like I care? Well, your priority is to serve me, and not your useless mother. Come on, Williams, come on! Stop it! What is wrong with you? You don't have to drag a mother into this. Besides, she has nothing to do with this conversation. She is my employee, so I decide what to do with her and hers however I choose. With all due respect, sir, I know that I work for you, but please, do not, do not call my mother names. Oh, really? So what would you do? Slap me? Perhaps poison me? Well, I thought so too. The woman who brought you into this world, otherwise referred to as your mother, can only be useless and embarrassment to the human race. Uh, <clears throat> Flora, please, can you, can you please do me a favor? Can you just um, step outside a bit? I need to have a word with him. What are you doing? Please. Thank Jude. You. Well, I know you're fighting this deadly illness, but being kind to people would help you heal faster than even the chemo you're going through. And for what you're doing to this innocent girl, I can only see karma overing all over you. Jeez! Excuse me. Oh, well, just uh, please do send her in. I'm not done with her. Try and um, 
tolerate him more. Well, what did I ever do to him? What did I do to him? Why would he treat me like this? <sighs> Flora, you did nothing, okay? You see, sometimes you wish you could tell what is going on in the minds of other people. But it's not possible. You're doing well. You're strong. You need to defeat him. Okay? I'm done for the day and I'd like to leave now, please. You will not be going home tonight. I need someone to watch while I sleep. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, no, that is not possible. I have a sick mother at home that I care for and besides, you can move around comfortably and she can't. Does it look like I care? No, it doesn't. If you walk out of that door, you'll be walking out of any job that you think you have. <clears throat> Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You have all the money in the world to get all the nurses in this hospital to take care of you if you want. But my mother has only me. She cannot even afford to buy her drugs and now you want to deprive her of the care from her only child. Money talks, bullshit works. Money. That's all you care about. Your money, your power, your affluence. But have you ever thought about the fact that with all the money that you have, you cannot buy yourself good health? You have no right to talk to me in that manner. Fine. I'm sorry. But please, can I go now? It's getting late and my mother will be worried. Please. I've said no. You will not be going home tonight. Everybody's phone is off. She'll be wondering where I am. <sighs> what kind of thing is this? They will not allow somebody to sleep. They will say that somebody should watch over them. Somebody will not go. Can you stop that? I want to sleep. Please. No, you, you, you cannot beat a child and then prevent the child from crying. Well, that child will need to get somewhere else and grumble. Get out of my room. That's not your line. Get out of my room. Look. Get out of my room before I actually try something else. Oh. So you don't need me to watch over you when you sleep again. And and don't don't, don't you dare go too far. Eh? What happened 
to her. I, I found her unconscious. So I, I brought her here. Hey, no, no, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. And who asked you to leave? This is my mother that we are talking about here. The only reason why I've been taking your rubbish. You don't have time for this, Flora. Go to your mother. Light in the suffering of others. What is this about? My mother! She collapsed last night because of you! Because you were keeping me here and you wouldn't let me go to her! You are such a disgrace to humanity. You call yourself a human being, but yet you have no human feelings, no human sympathy. You think that because you have money that you control the world. Well, I have news for you. You might have money, but you are the poorest person that I have ever met. How dare you speak to me in that manner? And you have no right to treat me like I'm less than human! Enough! Enough of all this! Come on! For crying out loud, fighting the only was in a bad situation. Do you know how disrespectful this lady is? Okay, now, look, uh, just, just, just calm down. Calm down. Flora, can you please step outside a bit? I need to have a word with Williams. You understand that she cannot go unpunished, right? Don't you get it? She's under pressure. Just try putting yourself in her shoes for once. God forbid that I should put myself in her ugly, stinking shoes. Her sight irritates me. Her sight irritates you, and yet you pay triple her salary just to have her serve you. Why? Of course you know why. Besides, she's, she's not even my type. I know she's not in your class. But she has one thing. One thing you wish you could have and will never have. And that will be? She has a heart. She has a heart that can love. Gosh! It's been three days now. And you're not talking about me about you. Mama. After my last experience with Mr. Douglas, I doubt if he wants me to come back to work for him. Uh, he did not fire you now. Neither did he ask you not to come back to work. Eh? Why don't you go back and try? And see, the little money Jude gave us is running out. Okay. I'll go back to the slaughterhouse tomorrow. Flora. Flora. I know you are scared. Eh? I know you are scared, but I want you to be strong. And I also want you to know that Jude will be there to protect you. Mama, I am not scared. I'm just tired of being mistreated by Mr. Douglas. <sighs> don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll keep my eyes on the go. <laughs> you know you're stronger, one name. And I'm very proud of you. Mm. <laughs> What do you want? Okay, I get it. My mother has given you a task and you are trying so hard to complete it. <laughs> Anyways, you seem to be getting tired of this relationship. But not to worries, you know, the feeling is mutual. So why are you still putting up appearances? Ah, <sighs> Williams. You seem to be the one not to have any other idea that this relationship has long been overdue. Long been over. Do you know you're a dying man? I would not want to be called a widow at this church age. So if you, if you feel that way, why, why are you here? <sighs> You know I'm a lady that loves clarity. So I've actually come to clarify this relationship to officially make it or call it 
end of the road. Well, your message has been delivered and is well received. Uh, thank you very much. And actually, it was fun while it lasted. I'm not look. Okay, I'll have to let this go. You can have it back. Have it. I'm really sorry I haven't been to work for some time now. How is your mother? She's getting better. Thank you. <clears throat> is there a problem? Oh, no. No, no, no problem. Yes, come in. Doctor. Yes, Flora. I'm sorry. I hope you don't think I'm being too forward. But I wanted to ask about Mr. Douglas. How is he doing? Sit. Sit. Thank you. Oh, well, um... Well, what happened is that he's uh, resting and this is uh, typical with those suffering from leukemia. I'm sorry, leukemia. Yes, leukemia, I thought you knew. No, I had no idea. Well. Is that why his head is shaved? Yes, that happened while he was undergoing the chemo. But as it is now, both the chemo and the drugs have failed. I don't understand. Well, you know what is on. This is cancer. Though his parents uh, have faith that he will recover. Doctor, are, are you saying that he's going to die? That there's no cure? His parents 
would move the heavens and the earth to get a cure. But it's not in our hands. I know we didn't start out on a good note. But I didn't know what you were going through. If I had known, then I would have understood every time you shouted at me. I'm sorry for all the hurtful words I said to you. And I'm sorry for not seeing the pain in your eyes. All this while I thought it was hatred. But I know better now. The doctor said you don't have the will to live. But I know that is not true. You look like a fighter to me. And I know you will fight. There is a lot to live for. Don't go down without a fight. I promise not to add to your pain and I promise to do everything that you ask me to do. As long as you promise me that you will fight. Please. Finally, you are awake. I thought you don't want to wake up anymore. I was informed about your troubles last night. Anyways, I um, hope you're feeling better now. Alright. <coughs> Where is she? Come on. Like for real? Williams, I'm here concerned about your health and all you think about is vengeance on the poor girl. You don't understand. That's not what I'm talking about. So, so what? Because I know torturing this girl is all that gives you joy these days. Can you at least allow me to speak? Fine. You can speak. Something strange happened after I was revived. I saw her seated in the same place where you're sitting right now. Talking to me. The way nobody has ever talked to me with deep emotions. <laughs> Hold on. Don't tell me hallucination has joined the business. <laughs> Serious, Jude. Have I ever talked about anyone like this? She. She was so deep in her words, and I felt it was ghost talking to me until I opened my eyes and saw her. Wait, like for real? You mean Flora was talking to you? Yes. And she was. She was so gentle and her words were so full of different emotions I I <coughs> well I would say you shouldn't get too excited because it might be that you were dreaming and if you weren't Probably she's just um, concerned about your health and uh, not really about you. Yeah, you. 
you. You're correct. Regardless of it, it felt good. <laughs> Honestly, Mama, for the first time since I met him, I felt so sorry for him. He's a wounded man that has no say about what happens to him. I really pity him. I've made up my mind. I'm not going to fight with him again, no matter what he does to me. I can imagine. You know what, Flora? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alfred brought two dying people into your hands for you to take care of. Mama, stop it. Nothing is going to happen to you. I wish I could say the same for Mr. Douglas. I really hope he pulls through. I pray so. Anyway, let me be going. I'm sure he's awake by now. I'll see you later, yeah? I love you. I love you too. I'll miss you. <laughs> I miss you too, Mama. Bye. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Don't I know you? Well, never mind. You must be the girl that stopped the hospital from calling us last night after William's crisis. I mean, yes, ma. And what gave you the right to do so? I, I, I'm sorry. I thought... That there is your problem. Your job here is not to think. You are here to run errands and give you assistance. Not to think. Had it been anything happened to him last night, I would have held you responsible. Oh, no, but... Just shut, 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 shut. Dad, mm. she did what she thought was right at that moment. It's okay, please. Are you actually supporting this girl? Mom, please drop it already. I'm supposed to be <coughs> concerned about my health and not about who called you and who didn't call you last night. William, William, this issue needs to be addressed to prevent future occurrence. Fine, Dad. I believe she has heard you. All these talks are beginning to give me a headache. Get out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, that's a diet plan for him. Ensure he adheres to it strictly and he should feel better. Also show you some care. I'll make sure he gets all the care, Doctor. And I'll try and get him to stick to this. Exactly, good. Thank you. All right. Please sit down. What? Please. I'm sorry about how my parents spoke to you earlier. It's okay. I understand. And I, I want to thank you for yesterday. You actually said thank you. Now you're scaring me. What are you talking about? I don't know you like this. First, you asked about my mother and then you defended me before your parents. Now you asked me to sit down and you are saying thank you. I, I just wanted you to be comfortable that. So. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Why are you making yourself unlovable? How, how do you mean? What you did today tells me that you have a good side. So why do you always show people the bad side? 
I'll answer your question if, if you would answer mine. Okay. Ask. Yesterday after I was revived, I saw you. You were seated here. Talking to me with lots of emotions. Like we were best of friends. When all I have done to you is treat you badly. <laughs> no, I, I think you might have... Don't make me look stupid by denying it. Okay, fine. The truth is, I didn't know about your condition until yesterday. And you pitied me. You see, that's the part I don't like when people pity me. I couldn't help it. I was not always like this. Even though I grew up in a family where my parents taught me that money and power makes the world go round. I had a different ideology to life. I had friends, lots of them, and I didn't see them as friends. I saw them as brothers and sisters, the ones I helped. We hung out and had nice time. <laughs> of course, they're always around me to spend my money. I had no problem with that. But then I fell sick and had to go through chemo. <laughs> all of them. All of them left. Besides my parent and Jude who has stood beside me through all this ordeal. There was no one else. No one else. And then I realized that people cannot be trusted, especially the poor people. So my parents' teaching came to play. I decided that since people wouldn't do things for me because they love me, I will make them do those things because I have money and I have power. That's very sad. But I really don't think that you should let people's actions and their words change your ideology to life. Really? You know, you can sit there and say that to me because you have not seen half of what I have seen. But there you go again. You have a limited time to live. And I think that opening up your heart and treating people right is the way to live while you're waiting for your miracle. It hurts, and everyone you love, every single person that you think loves you, loves nothing but your money, the things that you have. What happened? Guess what? He spoke to me today. We had a very long chat and guess what? He promised to turn a new leaf. <laughs> Tell me, Flora, what did you do? I didn't do anything, oh. Mama, it can only be God. It can only be God. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Flora. Tell me. You did something. I didn't do anything. Mama, Mama see, I was even very so. Oh, 
Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, sir. Where did you get all this fruit from? I heard that diet is very important in the fight against leukemia. So I put this for you. And where did you get all the info from? I got a diet plan from your doctor. And I also did some research on the internet. And why go through these troubles? Because you're my friend. No, I mean because I work for you, sir. I think I prefer the first reason. But uh, I'm not hungry. I know. Loss of appetite is normal with leukemia. But don't worry, I'll feed you. Why are you so kind to me after everything I... Because you're not that person anymore. And everyone deserves a second chance. But just for you, I'll reserve a third. <laughs> You should laugh more often. It looks good on you. Well, I think she's really a nice person. Huh? I feel a lot better since I started sticking to my diet, and it's all thanks to her. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to get confused here. Is there anything going on between the two of you? I mean, you and Flora. What are you talking about? Because um, at, at the initial stage, you two were like villains seeking each other's life. Um, now she's bringing you food helping you stick to your diet plans and you on the other hand, you defending her from your parents. Is there anything more I should know? What are you insinuating? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let me be straight with you. Williams, are you liking this girl by any chance? Me? Like her? How? She's not even my type. <laughs> okay, uh, <clears throat> I used to think like this, but now I don't think so anymore. It's either you denying the fact that you have feelings for this girl, which I believe started on the very first day, or you're just being stupid enough to not to know you were having feelings for her. Do you think so? I mean, you know, lately I can't seem to get her out of my mind. Now listen, why not take this adventure to the next level? I mean, to be honest with you, I've never seen you this relaxed in a very long time. And if you ask me, you deserve all the happiness you can get now. I don't know, man. I. I just don't think she feels the same way. I mean, who <laughs> will? I'm, I'm a dying man. <laughs> and you will never find out until you try. Hmm? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> well, I have not said I liked her. I, I, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Thank you. I can see that you're doing very well now. But you don't need to come this far to come and see me. Um, well, this place is not far. It's not far from the hospital. And besides, uh, it was my driver that brought us. And I needed to see you and be sure that you're doing fine. And since I was the one who was uh, the cause for you almost losing your life. I'm, I'm sorry, ma. <laughs> As you can see now, that I am doing great and better, eh? And you don't need to beat yourself about the past. Mm. Okay, mommy, we have to get going. He's been out for longer, he needs to rest. <coughs> mommy, I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mommy. Thank you. Please do take care of yourself. I will. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. Uh, 
I hope you are happy now. I told you she was fine. Uh, well, I am very happy and um, this is more reason I need to say this to you. Say what? That, um... To say thank you for showing me this part. For making me a better person. Thank you for helping me be the man that I have always dreamed to be. I want to take this a step further with you. Yes. So we are not sure, uh, Doctor. What, what, what exactly are you saying? All I'm just saying is this. There's hope after all. Wow. Really? Yes. Oh, thank God. Wow, it's a welcome good news. <laughs> yes, it is. It is indeed. I've noticed that strength and the, you know, the drive. If we stick to that medication and the diet plan, who knows? A miracle could happen. Let's just hope um, you, you keep doing whatever he's doing now that's making Thank you, Doctor. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. What do you think my answer is? How do you feel now, after praying? I, I feel so at peace. Uh, in my life I have never been this, this free, not worried about anything. Just at peace. That's the effect of prayer. It calms even the most troubled hearts. Thank you. That's good. 
I really want to say thank you. Thank you for showing me this part. I am grateful. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I... I have led a life full of pain and frustration. I know I do not have enough time left for me in this world. So please, Flora Uchim, will you make me the happiest man by marrying me? <laughs> Williams, but <sighs> your parents don't like me. My parents? My parents are not important here. All that matters are our happiness. Please. Waited. Right. I didn't expect it from you. Mother, we, we are sorry. We, we weren't thinking. We just wanted to make ourselves happy and secure our future. We, we didn't mean it. Please forgive us. Flora, you, why would you do this to me? You got married without telling me, Flora. Mama, I'm sorry. You know that I can never do anything without telling you. I didn't have the time to tell you. Everything happened so fast. Mama, please forgive Mama, please. us. Please please forgive us and her. bless us. Please. We won't be happy if you don't bless us. Mama, please. What both of you did is wrong. But I'm a mother. And I have to bless my children. Thank you, Thank you. Let's both of you today. You'll be happy. You'll be strong. Your marriage will be fruitful. Good afternoon, Mama. So this is your plan. You brought up my son from the hospital to come here for what? Hey, mother, I just thought I should come see this place once again now. Besides, this might be the last time coming around here. Don't say that. Will you shut up? You know, I've been trying to know who you are and what your plans are. Initially, I just thought you were just being nice until I confirmed it. Because of your mother's condition. You're just another gold digger looking to reap where you did not sow. And let me tell you something. I am here to make sure you do not achieve your aim. Come on. Come on, mother. Don't tell me that you had her investigated. No, no, Sh ma Shut up. Yes, I did. You're my son. I need to know who you're going out with. For the past weeks, you've been roaming up and down this town with this girl. A new young lady. Probably you must have heard that he has limited time to leave. And so you came to get whatever it is you feel you can get before then. Mother, this is not fair for a woman who has done nothing but put smiles on my face. You do, it. You do not say such hurtful words to her. Mother, you have to withdraw such words. Do I care? 
For what is what? This girl will bring you down the more. And my dear young lady, if you want your mother to die a natural death, stay away from my son. And of course from my family too. I am warning you. This is my last warning. I am warning you. Stay away! Mother, how dare you? How dare you talk to my... to Flora like that? I, this is wrong and I will not take it. Really? No one would trick my son. You hear me? Even if he is sick. Because I am here to make sure that gold diggers find no gold to dig. You know what, mother? The kind of happiness and life lessons that I have learned from her these few weeks is a type that you can never teach me even in 10 lifetimes. What? Yes. And because of her, I have, I have rare of, of hope and the will to fight. And there is nothing you nor dad can do to stop what we feel for each other. Nothing. You can only try it. You can never, Mother. <coughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here, Williams? Laura, I can't. Okay. Williams, leave. Leave and don't come back. As far as I'm concerned, it's over between us. We don't have anything anymore. I can't, I can't go. I can't leave you alone. Please. Your mother! Your mother has done her worst! Because of her, I no longer have a job at the hospital. What? I just got the call. <laughs> Williams, go! You heard her. You heard her want me to stay away from you. William, I don't have anything. Look at us, I don't have anything. I, I can't fight your mother. I, I can't. I can't fight her. William, please go. Go and don't come back, please. Just go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> My son to die, please. My son needs you now more than ever. Please, God. Flora. What's up? I need to ask Flora. Flora. 
How can Flora be his wife? Um, sir. The truth of the matter is... Flora and Williams got married. What? Are you joking? Tell me you're joking. <laughs> so, how could you do this? How could you embarrass us like this? Can you just stop, please? Can you just stop for once? Don't you realize he's dying? Don't you realize he's dying? And all that matters to you right now is your prestige, your pride, and your status. If he dies, he takes nothing with him. Absolutely nothing. So please, for the sake of God, let him have his wife. Let him have his wife. At this point, at this point in time, I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to get Flora. I'm going to get Flora. That is final. You will do no such thing. Can you stop me? You stop me. Stop me. <gasps> They told me to stay away from their son. And I did. What more do they want? I... I know how you feel right now. But if you... ever felt anything for him, I, I think now is the time to show it. He is your husband and you need to stand by him now. I don't know how you will be able to live the rest of your life if you find out that um, he, he died. I came. Of course I came. I had to. My love. My love, you can't leave me. This is not what you promised me. My love, you promised me that we would be together. You promised me a future together. You can't leave me. You can't leave me. You have to fight this. You have to fight. You can't leave me. I... I love you. I love you too. I love you too. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Please don't leave me. Anything, tell me what to do, I'll do anything.
you've succeeded in killing our son, so now what? Just go away, please. <laughs> Your son was my husband. He was my husband. Who witnessed it? As far as we are concerned, you're not even his girlfriend, let alone his wife. Just go away. Leave us alone. I don't want to see you around us. Just leave. You've taken the only thing that we have. Go. Just go. Are you serious? Hmm? She's the only reason Williams died a happy man. And, and all you can do is treat her bad. We've had enough of you and your madness, Jude. Please, just go away and take this with you. We will never consider you to be our daughter-in-law. Just go. Go away. You've taken the only thing, the only thing that we have. Just go. Go, go away, go. <laughs> She needs this adequate rest and to eat very well. Especially with the condition she's in. She doesn't need stress at all. Um, doctor, I don't quite get it. Um, what condition? How do you mean? Flora is pregnant. Are you serious? She's pregnant? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This is this is a great news. <laughs> oh god. How I wished William was alive. You would have been a happy man right now. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're going to be a mother soon. Thank you, Doctor. It's alright, take it easy, alright? I will. Uh-huh. Don't forget what I said. Definitely, I won't forget. Thank, Thank you, Doctor. You. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. You're pregnant. <laughs> Obviously. We started on the wrong foot. Mm. But we can still make amends if you allow us to. We've come to realize that Flora coming into William's life was a divine plan for us to start all over again. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my daughter. Please. Um, you, you, you please, we know you have been through a lot. From things said to you, from my actions, our actions, you know, things that I said and, and the treatment we are given, but please, we want to forgive and, and let, let's start, come together as one family. You know, because we thought, we thought we lost everything, but you are giving us hope to, to your baby, our grandchild. So please, if you Come and let's be one family and make amends. Can I ask you a question? Yes. If my daughter wasn't carrying your grandchild, would you have accepted her? Well, since my son loved Flora... The truth is no. But now she's pregnant and we want to take care of her yes. and our grandchild. Yes. I will accept only under one condition. And what condition, my daughter? That I can live in my husband's house. Do you need to ask? Oh, of course. <laughs> it's your home. It's your home. You can stay there, my dear. Uh, well, um, which means um, you will be there um, while you prepare for a trip with your mom abroad for a surgery. Um, you can also stay there till the baby is born. Trip. Trip abroad for, um, for surgery. W what are you talking about? You see, Williams had it um, planned for a while. 
we we found a donor for your mother. Thank you. 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 You're welcome to my family. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. <coughs> sorry, sorry.